about 20 miles south of Sacramento, California, in the heart of one of the most agriculturally productive regions in the world, is a reminder of the big city. Invisible walls, the wicked sight, guys of life, making grown men crawl on their knees, begging, please save us from the boogeymen, funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks, like a shank to the neck. They hit you from the back, no sweat, ho check and watch us shake and take away your freedom. You really don't need them when you're tucked away, safe and protected by FEMA. Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender. Ask the Second Amendment why I'll never surrender, but I'll never plead the fifth when it comes to September. I'ma yell it from the roof. And Expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard Speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes Good evening ladies and gentlemen I'm here to talk about evil slime balls in our society And I would like to start with uh, The slime ball that's at the top of the list in my life and I'm gonna call them out on it because it is what it is and it's about fucking time Jason Butler and I'll give the kid a little bit of dignity and not show his face this kid is without a doubt the most evil piece of shit I've ever known in my life. He steals from his family. I wouldn't be surprised if he steals from his kids. Uh, especially with the symbol, the symbols that I saw over on his page earlier. Now me and him, when we were younger kids, we were, we played St. Cosmos and St. Damiano. We were like fucking legends of the neighborhood, you know? Though with the fucking old ladies and shit. <laughs> so. He knows damn well. What all the symbols mean. So the kids are there holding up the flag. Some kind of flag or something. I don't know. Holding something up. There's very obvious fucking Illuminati triangles. And the fucking devil's eyes, you know. And I said, no. No, I was just going to leave his page. And I said, no, fuck that, man. He got his kids doing that shit. And then so I called him out on it. And now the picture is gone and deleted. You see, that's the type of shit that... Starts letting other people know, hey, that's a cool symbol. Because they don't know what the fuck it is. And so, you see, when you misinterpret things like that, bad things happen. And I'll tell you right now, there's no, no, there's none around this kid. There, I don't think there ever has been. And throughout my life, the times that I have fucking helped this kid out, saved his fucking life. The shit that this kid has done, I think I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure he killed at least one person. Uh, three or four others. Three or four others are very close. He, uh, manipulated the priest so he can get crack money. Priest stopped helping him. Priest, fucking priest started getting depressed and shit. Um, he killed my cat because uh, I got the bottoms of his white camouflage pants muddy. I didn't mean for that to happen. 
Uh, yeah, a cat my mom has been bawling her fucking eyes out about to the fucking day. You know, loyal as the day is long, and... I want to show you how fucking obvious this is. And folks, I've, I've done multiple videos on this. George Bush can fucking tell you all he wants. It isn't the fucking symbol for the Texas Longhorns. It's not the symbol for we love rock and roll. It certainly ain't the fucking symbol for cool. Now you look at this shit here and tell me somebody, I fucking dare somebody to tell me that this is a coincidence. Look at them all. There's Hillary. Oh, it's a Republican and a Democrat. Oh, God. Yeah, and there they all are together. I don't think people know what the fucking Illuminati is. You may have heard of it, but you have no idea what it is. All the fucking celebrities. The musicians. And fine, might as well just put it out now. Folks. I am under the impression right now, after much, much studying on it, that most of the celebrities are fucking clones. I shit you the fuck not. You heard some interviews with the B.O.B. Have you heard some interviews with Corey Feldman? Or the dude that they fucking uh, had kept as a slave for years and years who was on the Megadeth cover, who I covered before. Uh, they fucking they go on and on and on with the clone shit. Britney Spears has said several times that she has been cloned hundreds of times and she is fucking sick of it. And she is not the only one. Now, after watching many, many videos and reading many, many articles, I'm under the impression that she is not far fucking off. The fucking tongue out. Folks, you see all the fucking 12, 11, 12, 13 year olds doing that shit with the tongue? They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Slap the shit out of them, will ya? They have no idea what they're doing. Another sign of the devil. The fucking tongue shit. And, hey, said before, and keep saying it, anybody does these these fucking symbols around me, you're gonna be fucking hurt. That's all I can say. Like, this fucking Nicki Minaj shit right here. Yeah, everything right here, in between those fingers, I would have just smashed into a million pieces right now. So, let that be a fair warning to everyone. This poor fucking girl, I'll mind controlled the fuck out of her mind. Along with her. Go to Twitter, folks. Celebrities are talking about it left and right. Where the fuck have you been? I went over how many clone videos? There's no debating it. They can fucking clone people. They clone celebrities, and they fucking keep them as slaves, and they fucking torture them, use them for other fucking things. They use them in actual celebrity death matches. Remember that show? Yeah, real show. The Hunger Games, real. Uh, Avatar, real. 
uh, interstellar reel. And they didn't mention that this one, but I'm sure Elysium is up there too. That's what they have planned. They tell you in the movies. I can't fucking stress it enough. The face paint. Okay. Folks, just take a glance through them once. You know the fucking symbols. I mean, do your family and friends walk around giving these symbols? Have you ever seen these symbols used by anyone else but them? Hey. Hey. How you think the guy's got full glowing AIDS and stays alive? Hey. You fucking schmucks. Oh, he's got full-blown AIDS, but stays alive. Has it for years. Easy E gets full-blown AIDS, and he's dead in two weeks. Healthy as a fucking ox. Here's your Skip Bayless, buddy, ESPN folks. Everybody is in... On it. Church of Satan. Pawns in the game. Illuminati board. Mason board. There's the Baphomet giving the fucking horns. Illuminati symbol. Shazan Butler's fucking son's flag. Yeah, he knows damn well what it was. I'm telling you, I'm telling you one thing, and I would fucking love to see it, man. Mr. Butler has some serious fucking judgment coming in at his end times. I can tell you that right now, folks. And, uh, the kid's been helped and helped and tried to be saved by this person and that person, and he's just destroyed so many fucking souls and lives. It isn't funny. I can only think of one place for this person to go. See, he cheats on his loyal girlfriend, which is probably why they're not together right now. Fucking slaps her around, pulls her hair, beats her up. Uh, I can't name anything the fucking kid does right. You know, he treats his kids good. The fuck does that say? He's probably killed four or five people. If you are friends with Jason Butler, you are no friend of mine. You have been warned. I know this kid better than anybody. Better than his fucking mother knows him. I'm telling you right now, you stay away from that fucking kid. Or your fucking path is going nowhere but down. And Butler, fuck you, pal. I hope you burn in hell. Way over, way overdue. Your fucking judgment, sonny boy. And you see what happens... When you, when you point fingers at the wrong people, you end up getting your pointer finger broke. And your fucking wrist broke. Uh, I've got a lot of disturbing, dark words. that I'm trying to conjure up for this fucking anathema of the earth. 
and I can't think of any. There's no good bad words for this fucking kid. Fucking breaks in his own house, sells his shit for crack, and then tells the cops and his mom and everybody that someone broke in, man. Someone broke in. You know, sucker punches his friends all the fucking time. I don't know, thinks it's some kind of a fucking gag or something. Uh, you know, nobody is his friend anymore. Study him like a fucking buck. Just read his history. Kid's fucking Hitler. Stay the fuck away from him. Or stay away from me. I know everybody out there has got one of them. Come on now. Can you dig it, Butler? God bless. See you in hell. Too bad I'll be up in heaven living it up.